Hey there, Taurus. This is Sophie with Lady of the Unknown Oracle. Thank you so much for joining me in your reading today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited you've decided to join us. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your love, support, contributions, and above all, being my confirmation that I'm in alignment with my life purpose. You have my undying gratitude. So my loves, this is going to be your general reading. The messages we reveal today are applicable to any set of circumstances that are taking up space in your mind, your heart, and your spirit. So for you, this could be romance, this could be friendship, um, self-love, finance, and career, your spiritual growth, and really just anything of value to you. Also, keep in mind that the messages today do not have time frames assigned to them. So if you're here, it's because there is something here that will help you either close off a, a situation, a past situation, um, maneuver around a current situation, or anticipate and prepare for a future situation. Um, so if today's reading does not resonate, please take a look at last month's reading because my readings do tend to read out two to three months ahead of when we do this reading. All right. And if you find that this reading, um, you know, really, really resonates, but you're not feeling drawn to getting a personal reading from me, I will be including an extended reading on Vimeo that addresses that lingering question of, you know, what or who is coming toward me and what is my best approach. The link for that can be found in the description box below. And if you do feel really compelled to finding out more about your specific situation than what comes up in today's reading, you can absolutely reach out to me for a personal reading. I would love to do one for you. And all the information you would need to book a reading with me is in the description box below as well. Okay, so my sweet Torrens, let's find out what's going on with you and what you need to know moving forward. All right. So, Taurus, you didn't really have any cards come up. The only card that tried to come out was the Two of Cups, right? So when I was cutting the deck a couple times, I noticed the uh, King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Wands. So you could be connecting with a Leo, Aries, Sag, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could also be you if this is finances. You are trying to gain better... Um, more stability by covering more ground in terms of a business venture that you are thinking about starting, like a passion project, but you're really, really trying to create something new. Um, if you are a Taurus male, you could be connecting with a Leo, Aries, Sag, uh, female or feminine energy who you have a lot of passion for and you want to create something, you know, a legacy with them. You want to create something longstanding and build with them, either in a romantic sense or not. Um, and you want to you want to create right you feel very passionately about starting something new with this person All right <clears throat> if you have fire in your chart Taurus you could be connected with an earth sign who you feel very attracted to and with whom you want to build something new with okay if this is just you you are really just trying to reestablish balance and passion in your life you're trying to reintroduce it by starting by starting on a project or a, you know, a habit system or something on the side that really reignites your interest and passions. Queen of Wands overarching. Yeah, with the lovers, you know, you could be, again, you could be connecting with a fire sign or a Gemini to whom you are very attracted. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who are masculine Taurans, you could be connecting with a Leo Aries Sag that, you know, you feel like you guys are soulmates. And if that is the case, I'm definitely seeing that energy here. You find this person very magnetizing. All right. If this person hasn't entered your your sphere yet, this person, most likely, if you have Gemini in your chart, they probably have been keeping their eyes on you and they could be approaching you. At the very least, they feel a very magnetic attraction. Wands energy tends to be very spiritual in nature as well. So we've got a lot of spirituality, a lot of divine connection here. Okay. And if this is also the case for non-romantic, uh, non this is business related. There is someone who you feel very connected to because they share your creative genius and they probably already have a business of their own and they are in the middle of making a major decision about what to do with their business, whether to merge with another person or not, create a partnership. Um, or you are currently in consideration um, of doing the same with them. Two of Cups as your current energy here. Being crossed by the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, wanting to build. Wanting to build. On your mind, you've got the Five of Cups. In your heart space, you've got the Tower. Could be connecting with a Scorpio. In the recent past, you've got Judgment. Could be connecting with a Sag. Coming in, you've got the Four of Cups. You see yourself as the Six of Cups. Yeah, for sure. A lot of soulmate energy uh, for those of you who, in friendship and, and romance, right, are connecting with somebody very strongly. It's coming up here as soulmate energy. So it's not just you. They probably feel the same in terms of this connection. 
Uh, in your environment, you've got the Six of Pentacles. You're afraid of the Five of Swords. And, and in the potential outcome, you've got the Seven of Cups. So I feel like a decision is going to be made here. And I feel like your fear is that this is too good to be true. So far, I have no reason to believe that. If anything, you might, if you're not careful with this Four of Cups energy, we'll see how it clarifies. But if you're not caref careful with this Four of Cups energy, um, you know, you could be missing out on an opportunity because it looks so good and it seems too good to be true that in an effort to protect yourself, you might just say, you know what, I don't think I want to do this. <laughs> right? You don't even really give it your all because it's scary. Like this is scary. This is scary good stuff. Okay. Some of you could be reminiscing on the past if you're not connecting with an individual. Um, you know, because in the environment there is there is a a re, there's either a reestablishment of balance or a sense that someone may not be really giving their all. You could be holding back a lot, to Taurus. You could be holding back quite a lot. Okay, in your heart, you've got the tower. So you're going through an emotional upheaval of some kind. Again, if this is the kind of connection you've never experienced before with another person, air sign here, very strong Gemini, Aries, um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, right? But if this is the kind of connection that you've never really shared with a person, either romantically or creativity, uh, creatively, right? Then you could just be really doubtful that this is even real. But it's starting, to, it's starting to connect. It's starting to... Something about this connection is making you really reconsider some, some past issues that maybe you had with someone else or in another situa situation. Now, your overarching energy is the, nine, is the Nine of Swords with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's a realization here that really has struck a chord with you. It's really changed your perspective. Like a lot, though, to the point where you really are not getting sleep. Like you're, you're either really anxious or you're so excited, right? But there is a sense of a little bit of both, right? A little bit from column A, a little bit from column B. A little, you know, you're super excited, but at the same time, you're really doubtful. Okay, so with the Two of Cups, with the Ten of Cups, yes. Yes, <laughs> this person, this partnership, whatever this is, this friendship, this relationship and self-love with yourself, right? This is complete fulfillment, right? This is, this is, complete fulfillment this is a partnership where you feel like it's a match made in heaven you know in terms of future vision you guys share the same vision creatively you feel very balanced very harmonious and the recent past excuse me you did have judgment okay so you made a really big decision and i can confirm that, there was, that it was the right one okay ten of pentacles let's go ahead and clarify five of pentacles yeah so what's making this difficult is you want stability but you're still kind of in a place where you're not as stable as you would like to be on your mind, this five, this loss is weighing heavily. In your heart, there's a... Hold on, I just want to read ahead. So yeah, you, you went ahead and did this. And I just want... This wanted to come out too. So you made a decision here about a partnership. Four of Cups coming in. Okay. Just give me one second, Taurus. holding back yeah you're holding back mm-hmm oh judgment again it's coming out queen of pentacles five one more five of cups coming out again okay taurus you're holding back a lot um so here's the deal right on your mind, you've got you've got the Five of Cups with the Ten of Wands. So whatever was lost, whatever this disappointment was in the past, right? It's still it's still laying it's still really weighing heavily on your mind. With the Queen of Swords energy having come out, um, this is a need to make a decision, right? With the Lovers, this is also a choice. But there's a lot of passion here with the Two of Wands also coming out. The Tower. This was a decision that was not taken lightly. All right. This is something that maybe your heart was telling you different, but logically you knew what the right decision was. With the Queen of Swords, you knew what was better for you, even though it hurt to let go, right? This was a decision about a partnership. So if you identify right now as either the Empress or the Emperor, you made a decision about what to do in this partnership, right? Or you had to decide where you stood. Were you the person to expand, right? Or did you want to expand with this Emperor or this other person who may have been kind of controlling? Or did you want to take 
control back from the situation out of someone's hands who is trying to expand and create a situation that you really were not happy with, right? There's a very big decision about which power to assume and whether it's whether to continue in this partnership. If this is you, the solo individual, there's a need here to reestablish the masculine and feminine, feminine energy within you, right? Learning how to be the kind of person that is able to nurture while also being the person who can make those hard decisions. That's, that's very difficult when you want to nurture everything, but you realize that you have to pick and choose, right? Not everyone can stay in your life, for example. So if you want to have close friends, that does mean having to reject some people or creating distance between yourself and other people. So it's not an easy process, but there was a decision here. And you find yourself in a really fulfilling place. Don't even kid yourself. You feel you're, you're in a very fulfilling place, both emotionally, romantically, you know, creatively, in whatever this partnership is for you, you feel like this is the right decision that you made. And I do see confirmation of that. You may not be financially where you want to be yet. You may not be, um, you know, you may not be in terms of the legacy that you want to build, in terms of the family you want to build. You may not be there yet. You might be feeling kind of like you're not ready for it. Now, for some of you, you know, there may have been a pregnancy that was lost in the past. I am getting that because on your mind, there's a, there's a loss. There's a, there's a, des there's a desire to have stability. There's a desire to have the family, but then on your mind, there was a really significant loss in the past. The Empress tends to be pregnant. Okay. So in an effort to regain control of your environment, let's say that you were in a really tough situation where a pregnancy that was in progress had to possibly be terminated early or terminated itself early right you had to kind of get make a decision to get back in control of your emotions get back in control of your environment not let it control you but it doesn't mean that it didn't break your heart right so on your mind with the five of with the five of cups and the ten of wands you know this was a loss this was a very tremendous loss and it still weighs heavily on your mind it, it kind of strikes a little bit of fear into this desire to expand with this person because while this is a dream come true you know, for those of you where this it wasn't a pregnancy of, of a, you know, of a baby, this could have been the pregnancy of some type of idea or a plan to move forward. And something was really causing a lot of friction against it and wasn't, the timing wasn't right, you know, or something was not acting in alignment with what you wanted. And so you had, it forced your hand. It really forced your hand. And so you are just in a place of grieving it still. And it makes expansion in the future um, a little bit difficult. Because in your heart as well, you know, something had happened. You had put a lot of work in and you are, you're trying, essentially you are putting in a lot of work to pick up the pieces from this tower moment. Something had happened, you know, there was a realization, a decision that was made or needed to be made or some type of, you know, unchangeable truth that you're really trying to work towards. You could also be connecting with a Virgo here or a Scorpio right that you've been really it, it's emotionally it's been really tumultuous because there was a lot of loss and right now you know for some of you this could be cyclic right this could be that you guys have repaired something within this partnership romantic or otherwise there was something within this partnership that was damaged in the past because of again just uh, something it didn't feel like anyone was trying to be malicious here it just felt like there were certain differences that you couldn't look past all right, and you're still you're still recovering. You're picking up the pieces, but you're doing so very very well, Taurus. I just want I want to commend you. You know, if this is your situation so far, and you you have lost a lot in the past, and there was a really monumental decision that you had to make in the past, you know, I have to commend you because you really are handling this with a tremendous amount of class and grace. Okay, so you are in your power. You are in your power as of right now. You were acting in your power before in the in the immediate in the immediate in the immediate past if i can speak um in the immediate past okay coming in for you you've also got the four of cups with the eight of wands the seven of swords and the knight of pentacles so be very careful because if you feel like there was a missed opportunity with somebody in the past that you ended things with for a reason okay for a reason right the four of cups is a presented opportunity from you know at some point right so if this is someone who's coming in who you felt like you missed an opportunity with this could be another earth sign taurus virgo capricorn very strong virgo here okay um if you guys had had conversations in the past where they tended to be manipulative with the seven of swords they tended to leave a lot out they weren't honest with you they went out of their way to make you feel bad 
and you missed an opportunity with them in the past because that was kind of a red flag and you were like, I don't know if I want to do this. I still see that coming up. So if you are in a happy place right now by yourself or with another person and this person is coming up saying, hey, did you maybe want to try to rekindle something? You leave your life and we can try to build something together. No, is my answer to that, Taurus. No, this person's intentions are not all there. They, they talk a good talk. They talk a really great talk and they could be promising you progress. They could promise you, you know, where maybe you feel a little bit uneasy about where you and your current partner or you and this other person with whom you're connecting, maybe this, you know, there isn't a lot happening right now because you guys are enjoying the moment, right? And if you find yourself feeling a little bit bored and complacent within this connection and now this person pops up and says, hey, you know, we should start something. We can have fun doing it. I would highly suggest against it because the Seven of Swords is coming up with them. All right. Again, and this person would be coming in very quickly and they would make promises to start things fast and they would promise, you know, continual progress and things will never fizzle out. And it, they'll strike at a time where they suspect you're bored. Okay. When they think you're bored is when they're going to come in with song and dance, but it, it's just a song and dance. Okay. I'm not seeing real commitment here with them. And that could explain why your fear here with the Five of Swords and the Hierophant, if this is another Taurus, right? Because this is an Earth energy. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Taurus. If that's the person that is your ex or someone that you missed an opportunity with in the past or someone who comes into your environment, right? Making all these promises, your fear here is that it's too good to be true. And I'm definitely seeing that here, right? And this is someone who you've dealt with in the past that you feel like you missed an opportunity with. If there is no one like this and that's, you know, this is someone who's coming in brand new, right? Um, it could be that a past situation that you felt you may have missed an opportunity with has left you feeling like has le it's left you feeling like you need to seize every opportunity that comes walking through the door when really you just need to take a moment, okay, and just talk to people before you get to know them. So if you're very happy right now alone or you're very happy in your current connection, okay, it's really important to cherish that right now because you did make the right decision. All right, you did make the right decision. If you become bored with it, right, then it's a t now is a time to talk. It's a time to talk. If you notice any kind of foul play from the person that you're with, some dishonesty or some sneakiness, talk to them because that's how you'll make progress. Make sure that your boredom or your indifference, if you haven't really been emotionally expressive with them, right, if there comes a period very soon where the Ten of Cups kind of wears off, and the fulfillment dies down and now you get to a place where it's like you want to keep building with them but you just things stagnate and you're like i don't know if we should really take these next few steps together like i'm really i don't think that this is going to work you know that that having a baby is going to work or i don't think that having this business is going to work and so you stop trying this indifference could come off to your counterpart as you holding back and not wanting this anymore it could come off as there being dishonesty or that you're you're sneaking around and this, this lack of communication is going to come off to them as like your intentions have suddenly changed. Like maybe you guys aren't on the same wavelength anymore. As soon as you notice a different, if you notice a downward spike in how you feel with your counterpart or with this, with this partner, whether it's romantic or otherwise, right? If you feel a downward spike, like things are not unraveling the way you want them to anymore, creatively or, or in any other way, romantically, talk to them. Because this person wants to work with you. This person wants to work with you, but they could be on the receiving end of deception if they think that, if they can see in your actions that you're not giving, and then on top of that, you're not talking to them about any new developments in your thought processes. They could be thinking, oh man, like, what is she thinking? What is he thinking? I'm still all in, but I'm not seeing them doing anything. So I wonder if they're having second thoughts, right? You guys go from a place of developing and creating a, a commitment with each other and feeling really great about what you're doing. But there's a, a hiccup here in terms of building this, this future together. There's a hiccup here. And if you're not expressing how you feel about this with the person, if you don't tell them that you're still grieving, if you don't tell them that this is still really hard for you to get over, they could think that your withdrawal from them is that you don't want to commit anymore when really it's just that you're sad. Right, so make sure that you keep your, your lines of communication with this person open because they definitely are in this with you, but it's going to be really hard if they don't know where you are mentally and emotionally. Okay, now you see yourself as the Six of Cups with strength. You could be you could be connecting with a Leo, right, who you have a very strong um, connection to, either romantically or in a partnership sense for work, right? Someone who you're very 
childlike with, you're very playful with, someone who you may even share a history with. But for me, seeing, seeing yourself as the Six of Cups, you could be reminiscing to a part of your past where you were very strong and maybe right now you feel very weak. And so you're just thinking, how do I get that strength back? You get that strength back by 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 just you know taking taking a taking a second for yourself meditate okay you don't have to meditate you could even just spend some time engaging in habits or hobbies or you know just something that relaxes you if you've been working really hard you might need something that helps you mentally check out you know watch a movie if you like to read a book read a book you know do something that's that really helps you dial down dial back a minute okay because in your environment you've got the six of wands the six of pentacles with the eight of swords so you're feeling a little bit insecure about something, right? You could be trying to give just enough. So that way you don't have to overextend, right? With the five of pentacles, you feel like you're in lack. So you're really doing your best to give, but you feel like you're not giving enough or vice versa. If you're, if you're connecting with another person and you feel like maybe they're not giving enough, you're feeling insecure about what that could mean, right? Cause this could be your energy. Maybe they're not contributing enough because there's something about a situation you guys put in the past or that they put in, in the past that still lingers on their minds a lot and it hurts them. And it's with, it's causing them to like not really talk to you very much about it. So while you guys have this very strong connection and this very like spiritual, you know, uh, fulfillment within one another, there's, a, there's something very basic about your stability here in the physical world that is lacking a little bit. And so you're just curious about what that is. And it, it's starting to wear away a little bit at your security. Okay. You know, yeah, absolutely. And if this is a Leo or if this is a water sign that you're, that you're connecting with, a Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces, this person could be holding back. Strength can often be, um, you know, symbol symbolic of restraint as well. So you could be thinking about a time where you had more courage in a situation because right now you lack it a little bit. Or you could be reminiscing about someone who now, you know, back back before, you know, before all of this was happening, you guys were really in a give and take, very open, vulnerable type of relationship. And now they are restraining themselves a bit. You're wondering what that's all about. And it's starting to wear away a little bit at your, at your self-esteem. And, and you're starting to feel insecure about what that could mean for the relationship. Because your fear with the Five of Swords and the Hierophant is that maybe this commitment you know, maybe this commitment isn't all, all there, right? Maybe someone was saying that they wanted this, but then now that they have it, they're not really planning to nurture it in the right way. But I'm seeing a disconnect here, okay? I'm not seeing that that is really confirmed. If you are connecting with someone spiritually and you feel it and you've known that this is your one, right? This person feels it too, absolutely. Absolutely, they feel it too. But I think they're having a hard time getting in their Queen of Wands energy. I think they're getting, they're having a hard time feeling like a creator in whatever sense that means they might have a hard time believing in their abilities to be a leader and to open up their own business or to really um, get that promotion this person could be feeling just as a mom right or as a dad maybe someone's unable to, to have a child or carry a child so far right there's been this long go ongoing process of not being able to do that right and so someone here is just having a really hard time believing that they can out like can, can exceed that their power and their hopes and their 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 creative energy can exceed the limitations that are blocking them okay so this this disconnect that they have is not from you it's from who they are as the individual and if this is you cancer this is how um cancer taurus you could be connected with a cancer but if this is you taurus okay if this is you taurus um, this is how you feel and the other person likely does not have any idea and they could be afraid that maybe somewhere along the line someone stops being committed. All right, so be very careful because there is a tremendously um, strong connection between you guys. But someone is suffering. Someone is silently suffering. All right, with the Seven of Cups, with the Seven of Cups, you know, in the potential outcome with judgment, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Cups, we've got a lot of fives here. So a lot of changes, a lot of changes. This could be kind of chaotic for you. Um, you know, big decisions have been made, you know, with judgment in your in your immediate past. And then with the lovers being in your current, you know, a lot of decisions. With the Seven of Cups and judgment, absolutely, there is a need um, in the potential outcome to make a decision to nurture all right again i'm getting that sense that maybe some of you are have been really trying hard to get pregnant and i think your biggest loss here with the five of cups and the five of wands is whatever conflict 
is arising as 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 a result of whatever this loss was in the past okay whatever this was that drove you to feeling lack i think the constant revival of this because judgment is not only making a decision but it is the revival of right the re the constant reliving of what has happened you are perpetuating that cycle into your current and i don't mean that in, in any type of disrespectful way but i know that you know this is true Things do not become easier in your future if you're constantly dragging the past with you into it. Okay, so if there was something, some major loss from the past that has really hindered your confidence and you are trying to make strides to move past it, you can't move past it when you're thinking about it every single day. There's nothing wrong with, with taking the lessons from what happened with you into the future, right? But taking the trauma without the lesson is, re is it's making you relive the trauma and essentially it's making it nearly impossible for you to create this thing this person this situation that you're trying to create you are coming up as the queen of pentacles taurus okay you're coming up as the queen of pentacles who is a very fertile nurturing uh loving queen right this is the queen of processes this is the queen of growth of patience Okay, and this is how you your energy is coming up. So there is no lack of ability here, right? This is there's no lack of ability. You can achieve the growth and the creation that you feel like right now you can't. But the stress of the situation is literally the block. Your stress of the situation is instigating arguments with people who matter, who could be your salvation, right? Your friends and your family, those could be the people who can heal you through this through this loss and instead you're butting heads with them because you feel so sad still you're still grieving the five of cups is here again but what i love so much about this five of cups is that the person isn't focused on the cups that have gone away they're focused on what's still there okay so while you you know there, there's this saying that tony robbins says and i, I every day it, it, it just gives me life it breathes life into me it says whenever you are in suffering turn your expectations into appreciation realize that in this life there is nothing that you have to do that has to be done by a certain time if it's in your mind that that is so that's because somewhere along the way you convinced yourself that it is so but in a world where someone takes away our choices let's say that whatever this expectation is that brings you suffering if someone came through and said no you don't get that option anymore like you're done dreaming about it listen don't even bother dreaming about it this isn't even an option anymore okay let it go if that was the kind of life that we lived the kind of society we lived in as human beings we would just adjust to it it would bring us suffering for a moment but we would come to accept that that wasn't an option and we would turn our attention elsewhere but because we have the freedom to inflict these kind of limitations on ourselves, right um we suffer a lot so understand there's no time frame Taurus there's no time frame you're not in competition with other people you may have had this expectation because you know you you know what your potential is right you know what your potential is and you know how much you can achieve right but there is no deadline okay there's no deadline there is no one else is calling the shots here and the truth is if this stress is keeping you from achieving your goals and you're achieving nothing then you are sabotaging your own potential so look there's no deadline here there's no reason for you to rush. There's no reason for you to not enjoy the process, right? You get the opportunity. So this ex this expectation of like, well, I have to or else, no. Because if, if this wasn't even an option for you, you would be using your time for something else. This is an option because you have this blessing. It's a huge opportunity, right? You get to do this. You don't have to do this. You get to do this. How fun is that, right? That's great. That's fun. And yeah, there was a loss. There was a loss and that hurts when you've invested time and it doesn't work out. But for every failure, for every couple of failures, for every one failure, you get a win, right? You fail every time that you don't even try. You'll never know if you don't try. You tried and it hurt because it failed. That's okay. You take your time. You mourn the loss. You, 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 know, you, you steep in the grief for a little while, but then you pick yourself back up. Taurus and you tell yourself listen I I am in my power I am a creator I know that there is nothing here that I have to do I want to do it I want to do it because I know how much happiness is going to bring me so I'm going to have fun 
right? I'm going to take the lessons that I've learned and for every lesson I learn, it improves my chances of doing things the right way later down the line. So if stress is what's causing this grief, right? Find ways that you can relieve the stress. One of one way is of which is taking that expectation off of yourself. Replace expectation with appreciation. Okay. You could, there could be a lot of butting heads with people in your environment with whom, you know, healing could really be taking place. But I want to remind you, okay, if you are in a, in a creation stage of some kind and that fell through and you are really, you know, trying here, the fact that you're focusing on this loss is causing a smoke screen. This confusion that you're, that you, that you might be experiencing coming in, in the near future. Okay. That is what will be your block from really creating you're bringing the past with you and it's the reason for disharmony between all the other factors in your life that have stood still in the in the parts of your life that are still available to you that can really bring joy and fulfillment into your life okay by ignoring them and focusing on what has been lost you are perpetuating a cycle where you you're, you can't create the stress is too much for those of you who are trying to get pregnant, stress is a huge factor, okay? It's actually really interesting. A lot of couples who end up, for example, getting a break from work and going on vacation and aren't really thinking about getting pregnant end up getting pregnant because the stress, the, 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 the kind of, you know, stress plays such a significant role on the body that it actually could be, a, it, it, there's evidence to support that that's a huge block to pregnancy. That relaxation and, and, and really having fun with it is where people start to, you know, reap the most benefits in trying to get pregnant and sooner. All right. So just keep that in mind. But again, creation, okay? Leave this alone. Take the lesson that you need from it and enjoy the people who are surrounding you. Enjoy this Ten of Cups. Enjoy this person and these people who bring you joy. There's nothing about this that's, that's too good to be true. Okay. You might be thinking back, but I'm seeing a lot of, you know, big decisions that were made. And you're coming into a decision coming, you know, very soon where you have to make another really big decision. But it's it's not going to be made the way it's supposed to if, if what's guiding you is this grief, right? Take the lesson out of the grief and use the lesson. But if what's guiding you is your emotions towards this ending here, that's where that's where you falter. You have to be very careful because then you're not appreciating the people and the things in your in your environment that are really helping you through this. The only thing that I see for some of you is... In the past, if you had a situation with a Taurus or someone with whom you had a very strong connection with before and you made a decision to leave the situation alone and you're having feelings now of like, yeah, I'm really happy, but I feel kind of like FOMO, you know, like fear of missing out. Like I still feel kind of like this person and I have a lot left to see through in our relationship. If you, f if, if what brought an end to this was um dishonesty and cheating or trying to cut corners you feel like this person you know some narcissistic energy here felt like this person was really just doing what they could to give you the song and dance but was never really promising you anything i don't see them changing i see the same song and dance the advice here is to miss the second opportunity that they come through with trying to start something new because you will be disappointed again okay don't let them don't let them treat you like an option and don't make it don't let them tell you that you, that you have no options, right? Because then what's going to happen is if you accept, they're going to treat you like an option like they did before. Okay? Taurus, thank you so, so, so much for giving me this opportunity to serve you, to read for you, to, bring, to bring clarity and empowerment back into your world. If you feel like this was helpful, I, that makes me so happy. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know how this, how this affected you. Um, and if you feel again, you know, like you would like a little bit more information, my, the link to the Vimeo page, um, is there for you in the description box. And if you feel like we touched on your situation, but weren't able to go as in depth as you would like, and you would like to reach out to me for a personalized, in, um, uh, you know, personalized reading where we really delve into whatever major question you have. I love to give thorough, you know, thorough clarifications where I can. I don't push the cards, you know, but I definitely, to the extent that I can, I clarify to the best of my ability. So let me know if there's something that you would like to delve more deeply into. And you can absolutely book a personal reading with me. The, all of the information for that is in the, is in the description box below. 
Okay, but until next time, my sweet Taurus, thank you again. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Please take care of yourself. And until next time, I love you.